So, to make this entire animation play seamlessly in a perfect loop, first we need to understand what is a loop animation. A loop animation is a type of animation where the beginning and end of the animation seamlessly blend together, creating an infinite loop. In other words, the animation plays continuously, without any discernible start or end point. There are several ways to create a loop for this animation. We will do it in the simplest way, which is to create a reverse animation for everything that happens here. Let's see how to do this. To make it easier, let's hide the layers without keyframes so they don't disrupt our workflow in the layers panel. Just like we hid the color palette earlier. So we can select this layer, as it doesn't have any keyframes. If you don't see the shy icon, click here. Okay, we will click here and select this layer too. This one too. Since there are no keyframes here, let's select this layer as well. There are no keyframes here either, let's select this layer too. There are none here, let's select this layer as well. Cool. And now we need to click here to activate the shy function. Great. So now we see only the relevant layers. And we can move on to create the loop. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to create the reverse stretch animation. That is, we need to create a return animation for the red sphere and also for the path of the letter A. So first of all, let's decide at what point in time we want to return the red sphere. We want it to return after it reaches the top, in the third second. So in the fourth second, we want it to go back. So we can simply copy this keyframe and paste it to the position of the time indicator. So let's select it and press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. Let's see how it looks. So the sphere goes up and immediately comes back down. Now, let's create the reverse animation for the blue sphere. So I want to bring the blue sphere downwards only after the red sphere finishes the animation. Therefore, I will go to the second number 5, copy the first keyframe of the blue sphere, and paste it here. Let's see what I got. Note that, after the blue sphere reaches the top, it already starts to go down, which is not what I wanted. I need it to stay up all this time and only start to return from the fourth second. What we need to do is to create a pause. So let's learn how to do it. The pause will only be created if there is no change in the value of the keyframe. Therefore, we need to copy its last keyframe and paste it at the fourth second. These two keyframes are completely identical, meaning they have the same value. This way, we know that there will be no change in the animation throughout this time. The change will only start right after these keyframes. Because there are keyframes with different values. Now, let's create the reverse animation for the yellow sphere. First, we need to find the point in time when we want the sphere to start returning. Second number 5 is great, because the blue sphere completes its animation at this point. We also need to create a pause, which means that the yellow sphere will be in the same position as it is now. So we can copy this keyframe and paste it here. During this time, there will be no change in its animation. Next, at second number 6, we will return the yellow sphere to its initial position. Let's copy this keyframe and paste it here. As a result, the yellow sphere will return to its starting point. In both cases, we copied the last keyframe and pasted it here, and then we copied the first keyframe and pasted it here. In other words, we took these two keyframes and reversed them. Let's see how we can apply this knowledge to create the reverse animation of the letter A. We need to time the reverse animation of letter A with the reverse animation of all the spheres. First of all, let's match the reverse animation of the stretch text with the red sphere. In this case, it's very simple. We simply copy the first keyframes when the letter is not stretched and paste them at this point in time when the red sphere goes back down. So let's copy these keyframes using Ctrl C and paste them with Ctrl V. Now the letter is stretched and returns to its original shape. And now, as the blue sphere begins to return, we need to rotate the letter back to how it was at the beginning, that is, from a value of minus 180 to 0. 
But now, we need to do the reverse animation. Therefore, we can copy both of these keyframes with Ctrl C and paste them here with Ctrl V. And now, when both keyframes are selected, right click on one of them, go to Keyframes Assistant, and select Reverse Keyframes. And now we have reversed the animation of the last keyframes. Next, from this point on, as the yellow sphere returns, we need to reverse the scale of the letter. So again, we will select both keyframes of the scale parameter and paste them to the position of the time indicator, as this is where the yellow sphere begins to return. Now let's reverse these keyframes using reverse keyframes. Let's see how everything looks together. Okay, now I want to teach you another useful shortcut. Instead of manually placing the time indicator at the beginning of the timeline, we can simply press the home key. Mac users, pay attention to the keys you need to press. Cool, and now let's learn how we can improve our animation. But before that, I highly recommend taking a 10 minute break. Get up from your chair, do some light stretches, make some tea or coffee, and come back refreshed for the next part. And if you want to check out the whole course, just click on the link in the description below. I hope to see you soon.